Guys, where do you think I should put the batteries? I'm going to need um, 30 of them. It's 6 times 5. It's not even that bad. Okay, I'm just gonna look. I'm just gonna um, spread them around the lower back, <clears throat> the butt, like the two butt cheeks, the upper thighs, and maybe the lower abdomen. So basically, everywhere people store fat is where I'll store batteries. So thigh, upper thighs, butt, lower abdomen, back, and I'll just spread them out kind of all around that area. Now we'll still be able to tap into like a backpack full of batteries as extra battery life type batteries, but those will be the core ones that are built into the body so that the backpack will be optional. For short periods he can have no backpack and be, have basically no tether and look totally human. But then when he needs longer battery life he'll strap on his big backpack full of batteries to give him an extra hour or two or whatever. So, that having been said, if I figure the furthest battery is going to be about in the butt cheeks, um, I'm going to probably want to locate my servo motor controller for the arm, maybe in the shoulder, so it can reach throughout the forearm and bicep as well as the shoulder region. <clears throat> so this basically needs to reach from the butt cheek to the shoulder. So I just got to make sure it's long enough to support that distance. And I'm going to cut it there. Sweet, we're just designing it on the fly. I just made all that up. And it's working for me. That's what you got to do, guys. You just got to make stuff up. Very quickly, you just got to decide, you know that's it. I just decided and now I'm going to make it happen. Okay, now how do I cut this though? Goodness. Uh, I'm going to use this new tool I just brought to my room the other day. Might be a beast at cutting. Looks like a beast. Look at that thing. This would make for a nice little robot hand pincher. We'll see if it cuts. Bam! Made short work of that. Who's your daddy, Wire? Okay. Now... Will the robot be born with a fat truck injury? Um, I might, yeah, I might make the robot fat, and what I'll do is as better batteries come out, and, um, as I can afford more expensive, smaller, compact, but still more powerful servos, and I can downsize, he'll lose weight, but initially I think I'll make him a little bit chubby so he can fit all his components, because he's going to need the extra mass, because all these parts have to fit. So that would definitely help me a lot to make him fat. Okay, so now, I don't know how much wire to strip away, but I'm thinking I just need enough to insert it into here, into these little holes. So, and plus, I don't even know if this is going to fit in these holes, but hopefully it will, we'll see. So, uh, 
I figure no more than like right there should be good Oh man, there's so many people not watching right now that would be dying to see this. Oh man, I've had so many requests for me to work on the electronics. It's ridiculous. And and they're not even here, the people that were begging. They're going to be so mad they missed this. Not fat, just big bone. I know you're going to say something. Husky, that's even worse than fat. Husky means you're so fat, I don't want to admit you're fat, so I'm going to make up another word for it. And I just got done eating that candy too. I'm gonna go throw up the candy now. Twist this wire if I can. I don't even know if I can. Oh, I actually did cut through some of these when I cut off the sleeve. I mean, it's just too small. This wire gauge won't fit. What do you do then, guys? Kind of leaning towards just cutting off a bunch of wire. I don't. I don't even know what else I could do. Because it's just, um, this wire is thicker than, than the opening for the battery supply on the board.
So basically I'm just thinning out the wire gauge right at the very end. I don't know if this is the way to do it, but I mean, what else can I do? You guys got a better idea? The idea is to thin out the number of wires coming out of here and up to where it will slide into that blue thing on the board into here. I think it might fit now. Yeah, it's going to fit now, I bet you. Boom! It fit! Just got to make sure every single wire goes in all the way. I saw one stray. Maybe I'll twist as I shove it in. Shove it in the hole while twisting and then every wire goes in. Okay, that is a really good job, I think. I'll show you a close-up of the insertion. So yeah, I just thinned out the wire by carving carving it until enough little little flecks of wire came off. Mm. Can't really see it, but uh, yeah. Once enough of these flecks of wire came off, I was able to get the wire to enter. So. Now, we've got to do that again for the black side. Let's see if that's thinned out enough. What type of wire? Uh, silicone something what gauge in metal oh uh, okay 12 awg soft silicone flexible wire copper cables for rc black okay so that's what i ordered and i'm gonna verify that this will fit in this port now i gotta loosen the screw first Dang it, still too big. You really gotta move remove like half of it. Cutting it I'm cutting away all of them at the same length just to keep it nice and clean. I just dig in with some pressure and then I raise it out and I see them flying away, the little shards. 
little wire fragments. Um, you don't want to remove any more than you have to to make it fit in the port. 